Hello Fly Babies, it's me, your Fly Lady Cat, and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and to help you learn how to finally love yourself. Today is Monday, and so we have a three-layer cake. First layer, routines. What are our routines? Our morning routine, our children's morning routine, our paper routine, one inch, just a few minutes, our laundry routine, our after dinner routine, and our before bed routine. The second layer is our basic weekly plan. Today is Monday. Our basic weekly plan is our weekly home blessing hour. That is six things. Changing the sheets on our bed and washing those. Dusting the house wiping down the glass in the house, just the spots, emptying all the little garbage cans in the house and relining those, mopping the kitchen and the bathrooms, vacuuming or sweeping our hard surfaces, and carpeted areas. That's it. Each one of those items is 10 minutes or less. Strive to make it less. If you're delegating, don't allow the child that you delegate it to to take more than 10 minutes. It's not about perfection, it's about blessing your home. All right, and then the last thing we have is our zone. This week we are in zone three. That is the main bathroom and one other room. The question continues to be proposed to me. What does that mean? What if I have two kids' rooms? Do I do the kids' rooms in zone four when I do my bedroom? Do I do the kids' rooms Every time uh, when I'm doing zone three, if, if I do, when do I do the other rooms? Okay, here's what it is. How old are your children? If they're nine or older, they're gonna be cleaning their own room. They can vacuum, they can dust, they can change their sheets, they can. It needs a little, they need a little instruction from you. And these jobs are gonna be extra jobs for you until they're big enough to do it themselves. It's the part of motherhood that you have to take over until they're ready to handle it. So when you do zone three, we're talking about the master, I mean, we're talking about the main bathroom and one other room, which is like the laundry room or the um, guest room or the craft room or the uh, den or the loft, anything like that. Now, if you want to, you can put your child's room in that rotation, but you're probably gonna want your child's room to be cleaned um, more thoroughly once a week. So uh, if you, you wanna kinda do a home blessing in their room, so if they're big enough, they can vacuum dust and, um, and wipe the glass in their bedroom so, and change their sheets, okay? All right. If you want a deep clean in there, you certainly can put it in the rotation, but not when you do zone four. That's for your master bedroom. This is for the other rooms, okay? So, this is what you do. I know you don't like it. I know it confuses you. I know it seems like too much. But the reason you're here is because you weren't doing it at all before. So don't start freaking out. Don't start being a perfectionist. Don't start acting like, oh my goodness, cat's crazy. Promise you, this works 15 minutes at a time. How do you do it? You work for 15 minutes in that bathroom, decluttering if it's cluttered. If you're done with the bathroom and there's still clutter in the other room you have chosen, one room, then you work in that room for 15 minutes. If you want to deep clean and you're done with the 15 minutes of decluttering, then you're going, and we're talking about per day, you've got four days of this, four days. So if you're done decluttering, you can deep clean. So pick four things that you want to deep clean in the bathroom and the other room, whatever that other room is. If you really feel that your child's room needs to be deep cleaned, and you need to deep clean another room or declutter another room, then do the child's room as separate, not as part of this. I don't usually say that, 
but I know that sometimes you feel that need to get that room clean and sometimes you just have to do that little extra. That will be in the afternoon when you're done with all your other household uh, fly lady things, okay? I don't want you to make that a habit. The reason the kids' rooms seem like they need to be cleaned so much is because they're a mess. And they're a mess because you, Mom, have not gotten rid of extra toys, extra clothes, extra, extra shoes, extra, extra, extra. So your job is to get in there and get that stuff out, to put those toys in some kind of a rotation out of the children's sight so they have a few things to play with they can really enjoy, to take the clothes that they've outgrown out of their drawers or the clothes they haven't grown into out of their drawers, out of their closet, and put those away for the future or give them away or pass them down, okay? All right, that's it for today. That's the three things we're doing. Now, if you need me to go over this really quickly, and I will, uh, for how does that look in the day for a person who's an at-home uh, fly baby, it will be get up in the morning, do your routines, start your laundry, go through your paper, do your basic weekly plan, do your zone, do the after-dinner routine, do the before-bed routine. That's it. For those who are working in a conventional environment, get up and do your morning routine, children through their routines, go to work, when you're at work, uh, think about what you have delegated on the weekend so that the kids know who's doing what when they come home today and what you're doing. When you come home, if the children are already home, give them a call on your last break and a reminder on your way home that they are to empty the garbage or that they are to mop the floor or whatever it is that you have delegated to them. And then when you get home, you don't get to slack. What kind of an example would that be to your children? You're going to come home, you're going to start your laundry, you're going to go through an inch of paper. You're going to put dinner on. While dinner is simmering, you're going to work in your zone. If you did not delegate the weekly home blessing hour and it's just you, then you're also going to do 10 minutes there. Then when that's done, after dinner routine, before bed routine. Okay? All right, that's it for today. Have a fabulous day and always remember that you are beautiful. Bye.